So let's roll back in time, 10, 15 years ago. It was a world where big credit card companies sold free credit cards to everybody, right? It was only somewhere back on page 31 in tiny little fine print that you found out the true cost of the credit card, the real risks associated with this credit card. That was a world where the game was rigged and the big banks were making money hand over fist. And they'd done it on credit cards, they'd done it on mortgages, they'd done it on payday loans, they'd done it pretty much throughout the economy. With Dodd-Frank, we began to unrig the game. We built the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Here's this little agency that's been up and running just not even quite four years yet. And it has already forced the biggest financial institutions in this country to return more than $10 billion to people they cheated. We've gotten higher capital standards because of Dodd-Frank. We're working right now on getting living wills in place and resolution authority so that the idea that these too big to fail banks will be able to call on the American taxpayer, we're figuring out ways to dial down the risk of that. I'm incredibly proud of what we built. We built Dodd-Frank with the biggest, most powerful institutions fighting us every inch of the way. It was the most amazing David versus Goliath story. You know, they spent more than a million dollars a day fighting against financial reform and particularly fighting against that little consumer agency. But we fought back. You know, this is when Americans for Financial Reform was built came together, brought groups together from all around this country, and we, you know, we just didn't have much in the way of resources, but boy, we all got in there, we fought, and we proved David can be Goliath. That's the meaning of Dodd-Frank. Let's be clear, when the banks sat back the day after Dodd-Frank was passed, they didn't say, well, it's over, okay, now, this thing's gonna go into effect and really change our business model. In fact, what I heard they said was, it's just half time. Now the real battle begins. And the banks have been out there fighting. You know, so much of Dodd-Frank implementation takes rules being put into place by the SEC, by the Fed, by others. And the big banks, their lobbyists, their lawyers, are there every single day. And they're always pushing in the same direction. Uh, create a little exception for us here, a little loophole there, weaken the rule over on this side, make it a little more complex in a way that we'll be able to litigate on down the line. Dodd-Frank has done good things, but let's not kid ourselves. The banks in 2008 were too big to fail, are now substantially bigger than they were. They continue to pose a real threat to this economy. We need to stand strong behind Dodd-Frank and we need to expand Dodd-Frank. We need a world where the largest financial institutions in this country understand they can't build their business models around cheating people. And they can't get out there and take crazy risks and expect the American taxpayer to pick up the tab when something goes wrong. That's what we stand for. And we've got to stand for it every single day because the banks are out there fighting for what they want. We got to be fighting for what we want.